All right, guys. In this video, I am going to show you how you can send the data from an HTML form using POST request. So before we proceed further, I want to show you how our application look like. So we have a h1 heading of search form, and we have a label of search, and we have input, and next to input is a submit button. And if we look at the code, this is app dot get method which is handling the root route. In this method, we have a markup defined in the variable markup. And this is a HTML5 document that we are sending to client, which you can see on the right side of screen. In this, we have a heading, a title that says search form. In the body, we have h1 heading that you can see over here. Next to heading, we have a form with action that is sending the data to the root and the method is post within form we have label of search and we have an input with id of search name of search type equal to text values by default empty placeholder is enter search term auto complete is turned off and this is the required field and this is the input button to submit the form so now if we try to search something on the screen and click on submit button the server is not able to handle the post request because we haven't defined the post request as of now so what we will do next is we will handle this request that is coming from the server. To handle this post request, we are going to use the app.post verb. And in this post, first argument will be the root route. And the second argument will be our handler that will take the request and response as arguments. And to pass the data that is coming from the front end. And to pass the data, we first need to use a middleware that can pass the data that is coming from front end. So let's go on top of the screen and define the middleware here. And in the middleware, I'm going to say app dot use and the middleware is express dot URL encoded. So this will pass the data and will populate the request dot body parameters. And within the URL encoded, we are going to pass the option extended true. So in case our object is a nested object that is coming from the front end, it will pass that data as well. Otherwise, if we say extended equal false, this will not pass the nested objects. Now going back to the app.post function, we are going to get the field that is being sent from the front end. So we will say const search term equal to request dot body dot search. How do we know that this is the search? Because we have defined a name of search here. That's why this property will be populated in the request dot body and this will be available to us. And the request dot body is populated by the middleware that we have defined here. So once we have received the search term, we first need to make sure the search term is not empty. We will say not search term. If it's not a search term, then we are going to say rest dot status of 400, which means that this is a bad request and we can send the response using the send method and say search term is required. Otherwise, if the search term is present, we can create a else block here. And we can say res dot send you search for search term. So what this will do is this will send the response back to the client, which will return this text, including the search term. So let's save our project and restart the node server using node index.js and go back to localhost 3000 on the browser to inspect the network activity. I'm going to open the console as well. And we go to the network tab. Now we are going to type react and click on the submit button and here on the screen you can see the server responded with the text you search for the react and if we look at the network request you can see we have a form data that was having a field of search having the value of react and if we look at the request headers there is a special header of content type that was added to our request which is of form application x www form url encoded and that is how guys you can pass the html form data using post request in express.js i hope you enjoyed the video please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel please turn off the bell notification also so that you get the latest updates whenever i post a new video see you in next one